Okay guys, what we're doing today is, um, if you're familiar with our channel, um, you know how much we love the joystick, okay? The joystick controller for the uh, Boss V Plow, okay? Can't say enough about this controller and how much and how easy it is to use and how much it allows you to do. However, um, a company called Storks Plows sent me this controller. Okay, so their controller is an upgraded controller from the factory Boss Factory handheld controller. So we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how this works and what are the differences. It just plugs right in. Your 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 existing controller just unplugs and this plugs right in. No conversion or anything. It's got the direct plug. When you're ordering it, you tell them which plow you have, which brand, and they'll make sure it works, okay? So to get started here, we have the power switch on the top. So you turn the power switch on, and then it actually lights up. Now it's daylight, so you probably can't see that real good, okay? But there is, a, it's backlit, which is nice. Okay, so the first thing here is um, when you do this, when you hit the V button, V's it all the way back, okay? When you hit the scoop button, scoops it all the way forward, okay? If you hit the right button, now this is something, okay, right here is the right wing, or here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in straight, straight blade, and then we'll show you. Okay, so the right here, um, if you hit right wing out, right there, okay? It goes right wing is forward, right? You hit the right wing backward, okay? It goes backward, okay? You hit the left wing out, left wing goes out. You hit left wing back, uh, left wing in, it goes in, okay? So those are pretty much your, your same controls. If you go hit the scoop button, you gotta hold it down. It's the, Okay, you scoop it backward. Now this is your raise and lower, so you can drop it down, and you can raise it up, okay? Um, if you do this, so there's your raise and lower, okay? Now, the uh, one of the big differences, here's where it comes, because this is a gripe that people have had about the Boss Factory controller, is that you can't go, you have to hit two buttons in order to go right and to go left, right? That's on the boss controller. On this controller, all you do is hit right, hit left, and it does it for you, okay? That is definitely an upgrade to me, is uh, the right and left um, buttons on this controller, okay? Now, it's a, it's a nice hold, nice and easy to hold. You know, you have to, you're really not holding it back here at the back. You're, 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 you know, your hand will slide up because you need your thumb. But if you have your hand here, your thumb can reach, uh, though I would worry about maybe accidentally, if you're trying to get this farthest controller on these side, farthest away from your thumb, reaching across this and hitting it. But that's with any handheld controller, that's not, you know, knocking on this one in particular, but what I will say is that this controller definitely blows away the Boss Factory controller. The one that comes standard, you know, with your plow. Um, when you get a Boss plow, um, I think it's still this way. Uh, when I ordered mine, they ask you, do you want the handheld controller or the joystick? And then you can tell them whether you want the handheld or joystick. If you like a handheld controller, I would say you get your boss plow, buy this from Storks Plows and upgrade because it definitely adds more functionality to um, the controller. Now, one of the things is they give you this um, instruction booklet, instruction sheet, okay? And um, this is this one's for the V-Blade. This, this, this particular controller is for 
um, V pause. Now, there's a couple things. Um, if you double tap on the center, it floats it, okay? So that means the plow goes down, it's down to the ground, and it's just in float position, okay? If you double tap, that's double tapping the center down button. A quick double tap of the up button will automatically raise the plow for 2.6 seconds. So it didn't, it just took it up just a little bit. Oh, there you go. So, okay. <laughs> There we go. You've got to learn. <laughs> After you're using this controller, you'll definitely learn the the speed. But I was just doing it wrong. I wasn't hitting the right double tap speed. It's like your mouse on your computer, if any of you still have those. Um, you can change the double tap speed. So there you go. I got it now. I got it figured out. So that goes all the way up. Double tap for all the way down. I'm glad I figured that out. A lot of times it's just user error and... Uh, <laughs> That's what was going on here. Okay, now they also have another thing here. Um, there's there's some features on here that are you set settings. The user can set them. Okay, the um, the two features are soft stop and quick float. Now I'll just read you right from their manual what that what those are. The soft stop, the standard configuration out of the box for this control includes soft stop. This feature provides smooth operation and reduces wear on the plow's hydraulic systems. At times, a plow operator may prefer the plow to have a quicker and more precise movements. Follow the instructions below to toggle the soft stop feature on and off. And it shows you um, how to do that. Turn the controller off. Press and hold the down button. Okay, so push on the down button, turn it on. Okay, so now it's blinking blue. That means we're in program mode, okay? Now, the other one was to hit left. For soft stop, you just hit right. So green, red, green, red. Those are your two modes, okay? The green mode is soft stop on. That's what it's set for out of the box, okay? Red is soft stop off, okay? So I'm gonna put it in red, okay, just to show you. Okay, this is how you do it. Press the up one time. Now it's flashing blue, okay? So now you should be ready. You just press down, and then it's gonna do its procedure with the lights. And there you go. And now you're out of programming mode, and you're back in work mode, and you can see the green light, the thing is backlit green, okay? Here's the explanation of quick flow. The standard configuration out of the box for this control does not include the quick float feature. This reduces operating time by dropping the plow immediately into float with one touch of the down button. This eliminates the need to hold the down button for the given time to engage float. Okay, so we're gonna go down, then we're gonna turn the controller off. This is to turn, press and hold the down button, then turn the control on. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, we hold the down button and we turn it on. And when the indicator light in the center flashes blue, release the down button. Press the left button once and the indicator light will turn green. There it is, it's green, okay? Um, press the left button again and it will turn red, okay? The indicator light will toggle between green and red every time you press the left button, okay? So green and red, that's, so you're in programming mode, green and red. Quick float off is green, okay? Quick float on is red. So we're in that mode, okay? Once, now we're where we want, then I just press the up button once. And it flashes blue and now it's program. Press down to exit the program mode. And then it does its little thing and then boom, we're back up. Blade operation timeouts. All control functions automatically time out or shut off after a period of time. This helps 
reduce wear on the pump motor and prevent unnecessary battery drain. All functions will time out after six to eight seconds. Automatic shutdown. After being idle for approximately 22 minutes, the control will automatically turn off and the indicator light located at the center of the keypad will blink from red to green to restart the control. Turn the control off and then back on to get it back on. So after 22 minutes, actually that's about the length of an episode of our show. So if you're going to watch an episode of Snowman, by the end of it, this will be turned off. So you just have to turn it back on. Okay, I'm going to run through its paces just so you guys can see again the... Um, Okay, now we're going in the scoop. Okay, we're gonna go right, we're gonna go left, we're gonna straighten it out like a straight blade. We'll put this wing forward, backward, wing forward, wing backward. Scoop, then drop down, and then up, and then up. So my sum up of this controller is that it definitely blows away the Boss Factory controller. Okay, the one you get from the factory, the OEM Boss Controller, okay? I actually would highly recommend it for you guys who like handheld controllers. Um, I wanna thank Storks Plows for sending me this, and um, you can actually purchase these. Actually, we'll put a link in the video um, of where you can get these at, and I wanted to remind all of you, this is not only for Boss Plows, they also make them for the Curtis, um, they make them for snow dogs. Um, they have on their list here the Meyer V68 and V70. The Meyer V71. Hineker with the single acting cylinders and Hineker with the double acting cylinders. They make them for the Western 14 pin, Fisher 14 pin, the Meyer 9 pin, V66, the Airflow, and the Arctic plow. So, um, Pretty much most of the brands, if you want one of these, go ahead and pick it up from Storch Plows. It's, uh, it's actually a quality quality little piece of equipment. It seems to be made very well. And uh, we'll be, uh, I'll actually be using it. We've got a storm coming here uh, in a few days. And uh, I'll be using this for a storm and just, you know, putting it through. Um, it's paces a little bit more. This was just kind of show you an introduction to it, show you how it works. Thank you for watching uh, this, I guess you could call tutorial video on the Storks plow controller, handheld controller. And uh, hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, to our channels to get all the notifications when uh, we actually have new videos updated. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this controller if you've used it and uh, I'd like to hear about you know if uh, what you guys think uh, handheld controller versus the um, Joystick, you know see what you guys think. I know uh, handheld is all the rage right now So there may um, you know, I don't know how many of those they sell versus joysticks, but you see a lot of handhelds out there and uh, you know so like I said, I'm glad that all of us plow guys have got options and here's one more option for you so thanks for watching ryan orlick for snowman